What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman aka Allfires and I am super excited to share with you a brand new exclusive. I've been able to confirm with one of our sources here at Everything Always that there is an upcoming cameo from Matt Murdock. That's right, Charlie Cox's iteration of Daredevil from the now defunct Netflix series in the future of the MCU and on Disney Plus, no it's not, Spider-Man No Way Home. We're gonna break down this exclusive, everything that was said about this upcoming cameo, of course, issue the normal spoiler warning, talk about what this means in a greater sense for the future of the MCU and these characters coming back from the Netflix series. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we're still giving away a PlayStation 5, now at 900,000 subscribers, as well as Disney Plus subscriptions every Friday while the shows are live. If you wanna be entered to win, all you have to do, hit the subscribe button, then leave a comment down below and if you want stick around to the end of the video we'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there so quickly the normal spoiler warning and not taking for granted that a majority of the people in the community have been rocking in the mcu news cycle since pretty much between infinity war and avengers endgame this is a as for sure a exclusive as i can present to the channel i would never run my own sort of confirmed news story if you've been with me for the last three years you know i do a lot of re-reporting hollywood trades industry insiders anonymous fortran reddit leaks you guys get the picture but this is something completely different this is coming from one of my own sources that i've been able to vet over the last couple of years so if you're wondering well why should i believe this because the guy who has a youtube channel with almost a million subscribers who talks about marvel news every single day is running this as a confirmed report when i've only done this one time before so that's why and this is what they had to say last night april 30th 2021 charlie cox was on set in atlanta filming for she hulk making a cameo as matt murdoch initially my source said please do not run this story i'm just letting you know and later in the evening told me that there was so much paparazzi present at the filming that he was pretty sure one of them got a shot and i was okay to run this exclusive now point blank i asked to your knowledge is this the first cameo for this netflix character or is he in spider-man no way home which he replied he had no idea but he could only confirm that he was present there last night now, before I react or break this down in any way, let me come out and say I've had the luxury of, like I said, re-reporting the news for the last three years alongside my own theories and breakdowns and Easter egg hunts. So I basically just do whatever I want. But I've also watched other industry insiders get debunked by official Marvel sources and then sort of push back. Let me say outright that if any industry insider debunks this or comes against this information, if an official says this isn't true, I would yield to that. I'm only presenting the story based on what my source told me and no other outside confirmation. Marvel's MO has lately been to lie and deny as they may, but if any official Marvel industry person or even any of the uh, sort of industry insiders I re-report on regularly that have a lot more reverence in this area as a scooper than I do, this is only my second one, say this is absolutely false, then I would say that it's absolutely false inside with them. This is just what I am presenting based on my source. I've been able to vet over the last year. He's been telling me stuff, it's been coming true. At some point, I have to acknowledge he knows what he's talking about. I also realize that some industry insiders, when you write this sort of like pseudo journalism, they don't offer these kind of disclaimers, but I'm just a YouTuber. I wanna be completely real and transparent with you guys. And the fun part about this now, after having shared this exclusive is we all get to find out together whether or not this source has any credibility, but it's not as serious as I would dig in and say, no, 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 my source is right. It is what it is. And if anybody comes out, like, you know, the guys that I cover and has anything to say, I'm not going to edit out that computer sound, by the way. Sorry if that triggered you and made you look at your desktop. If any of you, uh, yeah, it was definitely the uh, Battle.net starter. If any of you guys, you know, it's what it is, man. I'm not over here trying to die on any hills. Jeez. I already know it's going to be a fiasco in the comments all right let's break this down so in a greater sense first off this is the first confirmation that i've ever had out of all of the plot rumors again that have come from anonymous 4chan leaks and reddit leaks that matt murdoch's going to make an appearance in no way home the charlie cox iteration of daredevil this is the first time we've been able to confirm that one of these netflix characters are actually showing up now if you haven't been rocking with that mcu news cycle as i mentioned for the last three years there has been an enormous landslide in the last 24 months 
for Marvel rights. Summing it up pretty succinctly, the most recent deal between Sony and Disney ensures the future of the Spider-Man IP and Tom Holland in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. They also bought out Fox, which retained all the rights for the mutants characters like the X-Men and the Fantastic Four. And of course, the ending of the deal for those Netflix series, getting back fan love characters like Charlie Cox's Daredevil and John Bernthal's Punisher. And as they were all assumed into the MCU, Two, the as mentioned Charlie Cox and John Bernthal's characters, because they did so well in their roles, have had a ton of fan calls for them to reprise their role. Only real recently has Kevin Feige loosened up just a little bit and left the door open for those characters to return. And as I've mentioned probably twice already during this video, in the last three months, almost every single Spider-Man anonymous leak places Matt Murdock, Charlie Cox, in the opening to No Way Home as somehow representing Peter in his trial against him. A couple of things to mention and final thoughts. It sort of makes sense for him to show up in a greater sense because we've heard the show is going to be specifically a legal comedy and having him be an attorney in Hell's Kitchen, proximity to characters like Jennifer Walters, who's also an attorney, and of course, Spider-Man in New York City. There's an ability for him to cross over pretty easily. It makes sense for him to show up. He doesn't have to go out of his way. If there's a problem around, there's a reason he would be there. I also personally think him showing up as a lawyer for Peter Parker is just too on the nose and unexplained. And unless they're going to open up with some sort of multiverse explainer, which I don't see being the reason for the inclusion of Matt Murdock's character, I think it's just going to be unexplained the same way they brought Don Cheadle in as a character swap, the same way they changed over to Mark Ruffalo. You just change it and keep it moving. You introduce him, no reason to explain what happened in the Netflix. That also, if you ignore that as canon, allows you to redo characters like Elektra and maybe even groups like The Hand in the future the way you want in the MCU, pretty much ignoring it in the same way they did the Darkhold with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Guys, let me know all your thoughts and comments down below. She-Hulk, if you're wondering, is supposed to air in 2022. So if he is going to show up in Spider-Man No Way Home, that would come first. But how hype are you for this news that he's coming back? Charlie Cox Daredevil in the MCU. And how long do you think before someone actually does snap a picture? They did pretty well with the Dreyfus character. She was under wraps. We saw her cloak. Maybe they've kept it under wraps. But hey, we've got the exclusive here for you guys. Let me know all your thoughts down below. And quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. Okay, still rocking the PlayStation 5, 900,000 subscribers, really easy to enter. Hit the sub button, leave a comment down below because it's truly random. More videos you comment at the channel the better chance you have of winning. The best way to keep up with the content, hit that notification bell with notifications turned on. And as always, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. My name is Michael Roman. You can find me over on Instagram and Twitter at I am fires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Apple Music, anywhere you listen to original music under the name All Fires with some original music like the background music you heard during this video. Thanks so much for checking out the channels, guys. My name is Michael Roman. This is Everything Always. Stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.